Welcome to a very special episode of Couch Surfing. We're looking at the nominees for the 2020 Emmys, and I'm here with a marvelous Mrs. Maisel costume designer, Donna Zakowska. Donna, thanks so much for being here. How are you doing? Uh, good, good. Here in New York City in the West Village, uh, you know, it's hanging in here. <laughs> That's a good part of town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's a good place to be during this whole uh, lockdown. Yeah. Well, I'm happy you're here with us today. Are you ready to take a look at your nominated work? Uh, yes, totally. All right, let's do it. You know, for me, Midge's costumes and dresses function like their own plot devices. It's like mm -hmm. each look helps mm -hmm. advance the story. Do you view the clothing playing that role as well? Sometimes even, you know, accentuate it or dramatize it. In the case of like Midge, many times her clothes have for me sort of dramatized her emotional state or her right. emotional dilemma. So uh, there's no question that they go beyond uh, the physicality of the cloth or, or the actual physical piece for me. Um, her emotional dilemma, but also uh, the, the clothing seems to reflect where she is at, in her life. When she's mm -hmm. on stage, she obviously dresses differently than when she does in her everyday wear, even though mm -hmm. her everyday wear can be far more flamboyant than most people. You know, I always say a little bit more like a magical reality. You know, and there's just yeah. a little bit heightened. Um, what I always hope is that they're still credible. That, and, of course, a lot of that, you know, Rachel is very responsible for that because she is, as I always say, a great animator of clothes and of costumes. So, What does that um, mean exactly? Uh, it means that when, sorry, this thing's out of my ear, that when she uh, puts a piece of clothing on or when you... Uh, give her a handbag or something, she embraces it and really knows how to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, that isn't, again, always the case. Often actors, you know, um, it's things become very awkward or they don't use it to sort of um, enlarge the drama of the scene. Whereas Rachel, like, immediately can sort of figure out what is, how does this work? Uh, how can I make this really work for me as a character? Um, we have to talk about Abe and his style as well. Mm -hmm. I was particularly loved Abe in Paris. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, God, yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy the berets and the scarves and, and, and throwing all of those accessories at Tony Shalhoub? Uh, I really did, and he did such a good job of making them work. I thought he looked incredibly handsome in them. Uh, Very so dashing. did So did his wife. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but I, you know, I went to the Beaux Arts. I went to art school in Paris. And uh, so I have, and you know, Paris is really my second city. It's a city I really love. So making those sort of comments about French clothing and bringing Tony, who is such a fantastic actor, uh, into into that world was like just incredibly delightful for me. You know. 